Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Pokemon Quest and today we got ourselves a lot of stuff. I really want to start today's episode off with a bang. We have our cooking pots, we have a, a Spiro, Firo, I think I think it's a Spiro, yep. We have a level 44 Spiro, that's our daily reward, as well as 200 more tickets to grab. Why not, that'll bring us to 1700. We have three cooking pots, one of which will be a legendary that we'll be opening right now. And then we also have an expedition bonus to go on to after we're done with all this. So lots of cool stuff is happening, I'm excited for it. Hopefully you are too. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this stuff and just sort of see how things go. Uh, we'll open that one last, which is only the third one out of the three. Oh, we got a little shell. I forget his name. Uh, it is Shelter. I thought so. Level 96, not bad. You have Iron Defense, which is a steel type move. The user hardens its skin until it's like iron, lowering the damage it takes for a while. And then also Ice Beam. Lots of people recommending that I uh, switch out uh, Jinx for a Machop or maybe Machamp with Bulk Up. I don't know if we have that, but maybe I could try to figure it out. Oh, look at this, we got another Oddish. That's not too bad, is it? <laughs> I sure hope not. Uh, yeah, but here's Oddish. And here level 81, a little bit low on the levels, but you have Petal Dance, the user spins in place, scattering petals that deal damage to enemies around it, and then Flash. Okay, so we opened up those two, we got all of our daily rewards. Let's go ahead and see if we get ourselves a brand new legendary, or maybe it'll be our first repeat. I really don't know. Oh, I think I know exactly what this is. Oh, our second legendary bird, it is Moltres. That is so cool. And you have um, a triple slot with Ember. Uh, the user fires sparks in front of itself that split and run in three directions when they hit the ground. Deals damage to enemies they hit, sometimes burns enemies. Not the biggest on that move. We'll have to do a lot of training for you. But there we go, our second of the three legendary bird Pokemon have been obtained. Now a lot of you have been recommending to me that I don't need to use more than one slot of rainbow shells. And if I do more than that, it's a waste. Some people are saying I need to do an entire cooking pot of rainbow shell, so I'm getting a lot of mixed messages, so I figured what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and try a little bit of both. I mean, last episode, what did we do? We did, for that Moltres, I think we did three slots of rainbow shells and two rainbow cubes. This time, we'll just do one slot of rainbow shells and then the rest being rainbow cubes. I don't think we've ever done that before, so we'll try that combo out, because we've done two rainbow shells and we've done three rainbow shells. We've never done one, so we'll go ahead and cook that. That will take seven turns, so we'll be there for a while. And in the meantime, we'll just sort of stuff everything else full of different ingredients. Whatever we can get done. Sounds, oh, that's a silver one. Whoops, <laughs> that was supposed to be gold. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, we'll just use whatever we get for that for training. I mean, I guess I can spend some uh, tickets just getting it now. It might be better just getting it out of the way because how many tickets would that be? 50 is not too bad. I just got 200. I have a lot of tickets at this point, so I'm not really sweating it. Okay, Mulligan Stew. Very nice. Oh, ooh, is that Lickitung? I think so. Be a lot of you have been very helpful with tons of tips and advice. I just wanna say thank you so much for that. Level CZ ain't so bad. Uh, power up punch, the user delivers a punch with its hard fist to enemies directly in front of itself, damaging them often raises the amount of damage the user deals. Not bad. Okay, let's turn this into a golden one then. Actually, you know what we should do? I Some of you let me know the recipe for getting him a chop, or at least getting a fighting type that has a very high chance of getting him a chop. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that, and we'll see if we can't get a couple more. Because that'd actually be really helpful, because our current Machamp, he has some good stats, I think, but he doesn't have the right moves. So we'll try to figure everything out. Okay, so apparently this might actually be a decent chance. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a fighting type cooking pot, and it'll eventually probably give us our Machamp. Now, I think we currently do have a Machamp, but his slots are incorrect. Um, that has the bulk up, so we'll have to double check that now. Where is he? I think he should be on the second page. Uh, maybe not though, maybe he'll be on the third at this rate. Right here, Machamp, he's level 73, a little low level, but as you can see, he has the rolling kick and then he has the bulk up. The bulk up is a big thing, but you can tell this is sort of flipped. If we could have the opposite of this, that would be perfect. The only problem is I don't think you can have two of the same moves, so we'd have to get rid of this one and then get bulk up here. I think it would just be easier to get a couple more Machops or whatever they are originally and then train them up, get the right stats and then move forward, you know? So I think for right now, we can work with the team we have. We saw that last episode, we defeated the final boss technically, which is really cool. 
And once we find stuff we want to level up, we have a lot of extras right now that we can use for that. So things are going our way pretty well, I think. So right now we know things work. We're probably going to mix around with some stuff. I'm probably just going to go hop back into 12.8 and see if we can't get any better stones. Right now I do have some decent stones. I can definitely dump into some stuff. Like she really needs like a golden stone, right? So this would be a little bit better than that. And then I think it would be probably beneficial for her to jump to this 960 instead of the 842. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's definitely a big jump. I mean, she doesn't really need help that badly, so maybe I can actually change it for somebody else, because we have like a 940 for her. Yeah, that might not be too bad. And then what is this, movement speed? She doesn't need movement speed. Uh, hmm. Okay, that all seems to check out to me. I mean, I guess like, yeah, that, that should be better. I, I probably wanna focus on the stats of some other Pokemon. But yeah, I've been just trying to take care of everybody's advice, make sure that we get to it. And I think it's been going pretty well. We also got Starmie to level 100. I don't know if that happened in the last episode. I think it happened between then and now. So he's level 100. He seems like he's doing really well. We can upgrade that directly and that should be pretty nice. And any of these are like must have or must keeps. I mean, they do add some nice critical. So I think we will keep them. So yeah, let's just go ahead and check out how Venusaur is doing. I think we can maybe touch up on him a little bit and then we can keep moving forward. Uh, yeah, cause he has some lower health stones but they also have hit healing and that's why. So it is like sort of like a tough thing to balance out for sure. I mean, the, really the only thing we could do is just give him like two more damage. Oh, right here. And then right now it's just sort of a matter of grinding out more of the stuff. Oh yeah, one last thing, dang it. <laughs> I realized at the moment I pressed the back button is that Starmie you guys recommended that instead of the current uh, bonuses I have for his Hydro Pump, instead I do a Whack Whack Stone and two Broad Stones. So we're gonna try that out and see if that's any better. I'm gonna guess that it will be because so many people were recommending it. I usually find that it's easier to make it weightless and be able to attack more often than to have the double hit. But maybe for this situation it'll be fine. So yeah, let's go ahead and give this a shot and see what ends up happening. All right, so we're gonna go with World 12-8. I could, you know, train up on the boss, but there's usually a lower chance of actually succeeding, and of course, we're gonna get more experience if we do succeed. So for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with this, and once we get a pro more powerful team, once we actually do get a, um, a champ that I actually wanna use for replacing stuff, I think that's gonna be perfect. We might end up spending tickets just to get another Machamp, or at least use that cooking pot to get another Machamp. I mean, I could use him on our team right now, just to sort of experiment with it a little bit. Some people have been asking me, you know, when I actually play Plan on playing. Oh, we already got rainbow shells, that's amazing. Um, when I plan on playing with the new legendary bird Pokemon, I figured that once we get the third one, Articuno, what would be really fun would be going ahead and uh, doing an all bird or all legendary bird team video and really train them up because they're all under level 10. That's really the best way I've been able to get it. And then I'm probably gonna use all those extra level 100 or so Pokemon, like I have an extra level 100 Diglett. Like obviously he's not gonna do too much experience wise, but it might get them like 10 or 20 levels, which would be a really big deal. So hopefully we can keep going with that. I feel like, I swear that since we beat World 12 in entirety, like we beat Mewtwo and everything, I swear that has made the game easier for getting rainbow shells. I don't know why we, how or why we missed that uh, fine whip. I feel like yeah, the hydro pump hitting twice so has been really good, so I like that. But I swear we've been getting the rainbow shots a lot more often, and that means we're probably gonna be going against a legendary bird here. This could be even Moltres again. But yeah, I'll be doing that all three legendary bird type team episode, just like we did with the three starters a couple of episodes ago. That was a lot of fun. I wanna do that again with uh, the legendary birds. So let's go ahead and find whip. And then be on the birds, I don't really know if there's any other legendaries we need to get. I mean, some people were saying Mew is in the game, which I, I don't know, I'm a little, a little on, certain about the difference between Mew and Mewtwo, because I guess Mew doesn't evolve into Mewtwo, so I figured maybe it was like, maybe that's a Gen 2 thing, but some people are saying Mew is in the game, so I will try to get that, but I just don't really know where that could be, or how to get it, I guess just through the legendary cooking pots, we'll find out. Anyways, we'll open up that next cooking pot, probably next episode since we already got, whoa! Speaking of Mewtwo, we have never faced this guy outside of the final boss. This is interesting. I wonder if something weird's gonna happen, probably not. <laughs> Honestly, like I said last episode, not really too much happened um, after we defeated Mewtwo. I was expecting more, even just like a little speech bubble, like, hey, you did it! <laughs> it was like absolutely nothing, just like completing any other level, which was a little disappointing. 
Yeah, so much happened last episode, it was hard to like, you know, really, like, like point out all of it in the title and stuff. Just, there's just so much. We defeated the game, technically. We've technically beat the main game. I mean, unless, you know, people consider beating the game. Oh, our Pokemon sort of like moved over. That was weird. Um, Oh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh boy, ooh, fine whip, there we go. That was sort of scary, but we're doing some good numbers on him. This really isn't that bad. Come on, let's do another vine whip. Oh, we got him. Oh, he's going down. Mewtwo, no problem. Mewtwo's gonna go boo-hoo. That, that was not a good rhyme. Anyways, we got a good couple rainbow shells of that. I don't know if he's gonna drop anymore. Doesn't look like it, but we did get our expedition bonus, so that's gonna be a golden power stone. Very cool stuff. A little bit more experience for your level 93 who have Way more to go, but 830 golden's not too bad. We get four rainbow shells. That was really nice. That was a great way to start off today. Now, I do have a couple of quests I wanted to check out as well. Uh, oh, okay, just one of them. Make mulch as your buddy, 10 p.m. tickets. How cool is that? I mean, how many more do we have to even go? A lot more, actually. Only four mystery ones, so I don't know what those are, but everything else, I'm not really sure. Go on expedition with the, oh, look at these. So these are probably something we'll do way later on, is probably just do some like quest farming, because that's sort of something you can do, I guess. <laughs> Very cool, I mean, we've done that with a lot of stuff, but looks like we need a lot more work to go to get them all done. So yeah, I definitely wanna complete all the quests, complete the Pokédex, all that kind of stuff, but for now, let's go ahead and get that Machamp, Machamp and at least we can train him up a little bit. Even if we don't win as often, maybe I'll go to an easier level, we'll have to see, because our Pokemon won't be as defended. I mean, we, we still might be able to survive just fine. We'll have to wait and see. But I definitely want to get a Machamp over Jinx. I feel like Jinx is sort of, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bored of Jinx. I want to change my team up a little bit. A lot of people were saying Machamp with Bulk Up, but I think they meant Bulk Up where I can share it with my teammates, because you can do that, as you can see right here. So we'll have to try exactly just that as we head into a new level, but for now, I'm practically just gonna give him whatever Jinx would have, as much as I possibly can. I mean, right now, it doesn't look like we have too much hit healing on him so far with everything we're giving him. Yeah, none of this has hit healing. Hit healing's so rare. <laughs> Why does it have to be so rare? Hard to get, I don't know. We can try this golden one, though. That'll be pretty good. I mean, right here, this is a fair chunk of damage. If we can get him a couple levels so we can get that third uh, bingo bonus, because you can see he has attack of fighting type moves, which will be good for both of these. Fighting type moves, weight minus 10%, and then attack of normal type moves. That third bingo bonus won't even help us much, so it's not really crazily needed. I just need to find him something that's actually going to have hit healing so that he can survive. Uh, hmm. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be really bottom of the barrel at this rate, because I'm not finding too much. Here we go, hit healing, 2.4%. I'll exchange that for the one that doesn't have a bonus. So it's like, not the ton, the biggest ton of health, but it's something. Now for this kick. I know this kick is hard to land. We've actually tried it in the past, so I think what would be best for right now is making it more often. That way, you know, it's just easier to maintain in that way. But we'll try bulk up at the least, it'll help him. I think we've even tried this Machamp in a previous team. But at least it'll give me a little bit more time to warm up to it. You know what? And while we're here, once again, I have the tickets. I might as well just go ahead and see if we can't get an easy Machamp, Machop, whatever it might be out of this one. It'll be another 50 tickets because it's always like however many uh, expedition weights you need to do times 10. And here's the uh, Get Swole Syrup. That's such a weird way to name it, but okay. And look at that! Okay, so we just gotta keep doing that over and over again, so thank you guys so much for who suggested uh, that recipe. Okay, so not quite I'm looking for move-wise, as you can see, as Rolling Kick and Rock Smash. I mean, as far as I can tell, a lot of people were suggesting just have one move and three bonus slots, but I might wanna double check that. Yeah, unfortunately, this uh, this guy doesn't really have much of what I'm looking for, both in his like move setup and everything else. So we could just go ahead and try to dump in another one. So that was once again, uh, if we go to golden, it was one red, two blues, and then I think it was honey and a bomb mushroom. So there we go. And as you can see, that is zero out of six. You know what, I don't wanna spend that much now. We'll just go ahead with what we got. We might get our butts kicked, we'll have to wait and see, but at least getting these extra Machops, that'll mean when we finally find the right Machop, we'll be able to go ahead and get, you know, a really powerful Machop out of it. We'll be able to use all these other ones and train it into him. But let's see, maybe my Starmie and my Venusaur are strong enough to, hold, to pick up really the slack 
that the Machamp might have. The, yeah, the Machamp, that's his name. Um, so let's give it a shot. Hopefully everything turns out pretty well. I'm very hopeful. Uh, so we'll try to bulk up on him. Vine Whip. Oh wow, we destroyed that guy pretty quickly. Maybe I should have tried a little bit of an easier level, but hey, at the least, once again, this is good experience from a champ. So I don't know how often I should do bulk up. Ooh, was that? I, I didn't see what that was. But it made an interesting noise. I don't know, if we were to deal with a legendary Pokemon in this area, it's likely Articuno. Because it seems like they have spe specific environments they show up in, but last time we got surprised by Mewtwo, so <laughs> who knows? Oh gosh, you're getting confused. That's actually really bad. Oh boy, who just got taken out Venusaur? That's not good, so <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. The confusion is definitely not helping our situation, but it looks like it's just Starmie, which Starmie can hold his own really well at this point, so it's not always the worst thing in the world. He's just randomly hydro pumping at the moment. Venusaur's back, hit him! Yeah, good job, Venusaur. So these two, as long as they can survive, which I think they have time on their side for this one, like they have a good enough time advantage. Okay, so that stuff's sort of landing. It's just Venusaur isn't too much of a tank. That's sort of the thing where bulk up needs to be a shared move. I don't think that landed, no it didn't. Oh my gosh, that's bad. <laughs> you missed your kick. That kick is also not a good move. <laughs> it's just not. I'm so sorry, but, but champ, you gotta find a better move than a rolling kick. I don't wanna obviously, you know, move train him if we plan on changing him out anyways, you know? That'd be sort of a waste. Hydro Pump actually has a pretty low cooldown, even with the uh, whack whack which is pretty nice. Go ahead and do that. Not bad, we did it, we did it. So we're getting a lot of bomb mushrooms there, very good. We go ahead and put a uh, bulk up on you, and we already have our boss fights. That's another one I need, Hinmon Lee. That might be able to be gotten from our current cooking pot too. I'm not really sure. But a lot of you were, so like, I, I got a list of different uh, recipes I can try from a very helpful viewer. You know who you are, thank you. Um, who, uh, you know, listed some of the Pokemon I needed and what cooking pots I might be able to get them from. So I think we might just like dedicate a whole episode to just like doing that, where we just uh, get as many Pokemon as we possibly can. No, don't beat up Starmie, we really needed him. Oh boy. I mean, we still have two, almost three minutes here. I keep on playing bulk up on him over and over again. I gotta do that rolling cake. But whenever I try it, it never lands. So I just always get so uh, resilient or resistant to it. There we go. I think that landed, maybe a little bit at the least. Let's do another one. Come on, come on, come on. That one missed. It's such a low area move. It's just ridiculous. It only works if he's like the only melee character and then just barely, you know? No, Hydro Pump, what are you doing getting so close, dude? Back it up! Oh jeez, oh jeez. Find what? Okay, we should still be able to get him here. He's so low. So you can tell that uh, just because our other two Pokemon are so super powerful, we're able to handle this pretty nicely. Come on, yep, there we go. So Venusaur and Sarmi survive. M Machamp, not so much. <laughs> Okay, stage clear, so obviously we didn't get any rainbow shells for that one. Almost level 74 from a champ already, not bad. Oh, 983, that's a good one. HP upon recovery, critical hit rate, not bad. So that's that must have been the fancy little noise we got for that silver damage tone. I like that one a lot, that one's pretty good. We could give that to Machamp right now, I think, and it wouldn't be too bad. I mean, I don't think we've gotten a stone. Yeah, that's actually our most damaging damage stone yet. So that's very exciting. Uh, and we'll just put that over that. That should be good. And then we'll put this one over that. Yeah, time to recover movement speed. Hmm, what are our other ones? Okay, I think we'll just leave it out as. I mean, he could use more health, but I just don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference. But we'll just play a couple games. I'm not sure if I'll play enough to get cooking pots fully available? I'll try to, we'll see what ends up happening. It sort of feels weird now, right? Like it feels like I'm playing rounds just to sort of kill time and to earn stuff because I don't need to make progress anymore, all right? Like I've already defeated what I need to defeat in the game. So it's sort of weird, the game, the goal is different now. Before, the goal was always sort of get to the last level and win the game, but now that I've done that, it's doing all these other things. So, you know, actually playing the levels is still important, but it's more of like a grinding kind of thing, you know? Which I feel like for the last couple of episodes, it still has been that regardless, but even more so now is what I'm trying to say. So it's just interesting, the goal of the game is a little different now. Okay, so we're doing pretty decent. Can we vine whip? Boom, okay, we got some rainbow material. There we go, we got rid of the first wave pretty easily. More rainbow material. No uh, rainbow shells yet. But I gotta say, like our production of rainbow shells has gone way, way up, so I think it's overall pretty worth it with uh, how things have ended up working out. 
Okay, ooh, we got a golden health stone there. Let's hope it's close to a thousand again. That'd be amazing. That's just what I gotta keep hoping for, right? It's just like a thousand health and a thousand damage stones. I don't know if that's actually possible. Let me know if you guys have gotten that yet. Like damage and health stones that are over a thousand. I haven't seen it. That 980 was our highest, both in health and damage. So my champ better feel honored. He's got our most damaging damage stone. Okay, Hydro Pump, Rolling Kick. Will you land that Rolling Kick if I actually press the right button? You do, but it doesn't do much damage. 4,300, I was expecting a little bit more. We need to put Bulk up on him, that might help. Ooh, Vine Whip, Vine Whip, not bad. Oh no, Venusaur, oh yeah, this is Poly Whirl. He always has like the worst move, because it just like takes everybody out all the time for no reason. There we go. So, you just keep Hydro Pumping him. That should help a little bit. Kick him. The kick landed. That was like 11,000 damage. Dodge, because that does a lot of damage. Okay, that was good. That rolling kick. <laughs> I think it landed. Hard to tell. All right, so we got a bunch of honey. Let's get bulk up. Oh no, it's our nemesis. The Magikarp of Doom. This is bad. This is real bad. It could all end here, especially when uh, Starmies is out and about doing something random. There's so many things in the way as well. I really need a good position to land. No! Where's where, where's Starmie at? He's right here. Okay, he's actually taking some damage. Oh, he's getting health back though. Ooh, not bad, not bad. So we have to keep our ears aware as much as possible because whenever he makes that noise, it, you know, Oh gosh, oh gosh, no, Starmie! It's so hard, because you can only dodge so often, you know? Okay, kick him. Probably should have bulked up first, but hey, whatever. I mean, we're doing good damage to him, it's just a matter of if he can get rid of our teammates. No, oh, I realized it, but there's like no time to react, it's insane. Oh my gosh, this far in, we've beaten the game. I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm so tempted, but every time, every time I cough up the, the tickets for stuff like this, it's never, ever, as good as I hoped. So I'm just gonna leave it. We can spend the tickets in other ways, like the cooking pots if we need to. Trying to overall save up, but it can be hard at times. Okay, so hop back in. I mean, maybe it'd be smarter just to stick with Jinx for now, but at least we're getting some free experience with Machamp, and you know, overall we're getting what we need. When it comes to the actual legendary Pokemon rounds, we're, we're, getting, we're getting there. Like that's actually easier than when we have to deal with Magikarp levels and stuff, whatever reason. They've, I just found that they're easy levels, the levels with legendary bosses, which is pretty nice. You know, that's not a bad problem to have. It's not even a problem, really. Okay, let's go ahead and land that Vine Whip. Already getting some icy rocks. That was a damage stone. Bronze one as well, so it's something. Okay, more wild Pokemon are showing up somewhere. Over this way. Come on, ready, set, rolling kick. It missed. Good old rolling kick. I mean, he doesn't even really roll forward. He just, I mean, I guess he does roll. He spins, so that's a roll in one way or another. Okay, ready, boom, kick, 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 kick. Do it, did he, is he, is he kicking? No, he's not, he didn't kick. He just like, he, he just straight up didn't do it, no matter how many times I pressed it there, that was weird. There he goes, what the heck was that, dude? That was such a delay. I don't know, doesn't seem like the fighting champion I was expecting so far. There we go, we landed that one, that's pretty nice, but no, Venusaur's out already. Shoot a vine with while I had the chance. I was just focused on my champ and that ruined me. I don't know, I feel like it messes up with the flow of my team. I'm sure it'll be better once we can actually get a proper Machamp, but uh, for now, I'm gonna say nope. Nope to that one. That was definitely not a legendary Pokemon one. Usually when you get the legendary Pokemon ones, you get the rainbow shells quite early on. But that is level 74 with him. That's some kind of progress. Maybe I'll just try to speed up the cooking pot right now, because I'm getting impatient with it. <laughs> At least we save ourselves 10 tickets for every round we try. So it's only three more, so that's gonna be 30 tickets. That's not too big of a deal. Uh, so let's see, the Get Swole. Can we get, yeah, there we go. I don't know if we get this guy every time, if it's like an Onyx kind of thing with the uh, Ground Stone where you just get him every single time. Ah, uh, still not what we're looking for. I mean, I could work with this a little bit. Like we could just try to turn this and then eventually we'll improve rolling kick. But maybe we could try to turn this into something. I know it's not perfect. So maybe I should just try to keep rolling for the perfect Machamp. Because I feel like maybe that would be better. It's so hard to say. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well I gotta set up again. We only need like two more rounds for the two cooking pods here. One more round for this one. So we'll go ahead and give that a shot. 
Um, I'm probably not gonna open up that legendary cooking pot until next episode. I only wanna do one per episode. That way we can get like an even spread of everything. I feel like that'd be the best thing. I mean, do we have two Mewtwo's at this point? I don't think we do. But I can't remember. So we'll go to something a little bit easier. 12, six, lower chances of legendaries for this one, but it's still possible. I, I think I've found legendaries but 12, six and 12, seven. I think you can find them on any level in uh, World 12. So at the end of the day, I think it'll be fine. And from this, we should be able to destroy the competition with our Venusaur and Starmie. It should be a walk in the, in the park. You would presume, but you never know until it's way too late and you're just sad because you get destroyed by a whole bunch of uh, weaker Pokemon than you'd expect. Okay. Well, we're doing what we can. I'm glad we beat Mewtwo today. That was pretty cool and we're getting tons of materials. A lot of people still ask me how do you get more materials. Once again, the decorations are what got them for me. I mean, I'm, I feel like that's one of the first things you wanna do with your tickets is buy all of, wow! Those sand shrews were ruthless. They're just like beating them up. Like I didn't even have the chance to do vine whip there. Come on, just keep throwing that out. Luckily, uh, Stormy can now like heal to full with his hydro pump, which is really nice. That's always good to have. I'm trying to make him kick. It's just not working. There it goes. Vine whip. Yeah, now he's up at full. Very good. Oh geez, that hurts a little bit. That's stealth rock, I think. But we're able to fix it, so we're fine. All right, let's do bulk up now, because that's run out for you. The bulk up seems to make him a bit more of a survivable character, so I can only imagine if we can get that triple slot. Like, it doesn't even matter if it's a triple slot bulk up. As long as it's a triple slot anything, we can change it into being bulk up. Or there was another move of similar name, like work up, I think. Uh, but we haven't gotten that either. It's all been rock smash and rolling kick. So we'll have to figure that out as we go along. I ain't too much can do about it right now. Okay, so Vine Whip, Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump should take this guy out if it lands. Ooh, it does, all right, it's damaging him. There it is, okay. So these two are alive, so that's gonna be fine. I don't think, yep, it's gonna be legendary. Once again, it's you two dudes. All right, if you say so. Oh, we hit them both there with the Vine Whip. That's gonna be a great start, but these two should be easy because we dealt with them already on 12-8 with two Pokemon practically. I think we can do it again on 12-6, right? Unless some impossible shenanigans happen, which could happen, you never know. It's, uh, this game can be a little wacky like that. No, how did it, ah, oh, every time. Every time we get surprised. I mean, him only is almost down though, so if we could just keep focusing on him, that'd be great. There we go, not bad, not bad. Uh, Machamp actually focused on the one I wanted him to focus on, which was Hitmonchan. Kick him, kick him. Oh, not bad, 11,000 damage. We're working a little bit better now. Got it, and finish him off. Good job, dude, you finished him off. Okay, so 150 materials is fantastic. Tons more as well. And we got a damage stone of it. Maybe we'll be an okay one. I'm not gonna expect it, we're on 12-6, so. A little bit more experience. At least we're getting more experience this way because we're actually winning. I'm sure we can jump up to 12-7 and be fine. So I might try that. So now we do have enough for one of them, one of the golden cooking pots though. So I'll check this one out and see what we end up getting. And then inside of that, maybe we'll just put another Machop, Machamp thing. That might be good. What do we got, what do we got? We got Mulligan Stew out of Cube. It could be, oh hey, is that a Squirtle? Maybe not, hard to tell. Yeah it is, look at this little guy. Nice, level 87 Squirtle. And that has Bubble. Not bad, I'll take it. Another one for the, the family. Not sure if we'll eventually use it for training or not, but for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. So it was two blueberries, one mushroom, one honey, and one mush or mushroom. Yeah, I mean the tiny mushroom, big mushroom, you get what I mean. There we go. So we'll head back into the action and try to get at least the next two cooking pots. One of them we won't open, but we'll just sort of keep moving with that because I'm having fun. Hopefully you guys are having fun too. Uh, we'll recycle, because I guess I have to do that. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so here we are on 12-7. Let's put bulk up on you. Where are those wild Pokemon at? And it's always this cave recently. I don't know what's with this. The game just really likes the cave. Okay, this is bad. I sort of like missed all of my moves there, so things are looking a little nasty. I do that second Hydro Pump. I mean, we put Whack Whack on the Hydro Pump, right? I don't know, it's weird. Because like it says I haven't used it, but he just used it. So I think that he is using it twice. The game just doesn't really tell me it doesn't go on cooldown until afterwards, and sometimes the animation gets messed up because he just used it twice, yeah. It's just a matter of, it doesn't tell you, so it's like, hey, you can still use Hydro Pump, but I can't. Can't believe they still haven't fixed that, because I know they have had some kind of like fixes go out 
that uh, have fixed some glitches or some errors. Seems like there's still more to be fixed with the game, so hopefully they do get to that soon enough. I mean, the game is great, but it definitely, of course, as always, there's room for improvement. Okay, so let's go ahead and do rolling kick. But yeah, even uh, Machamp is surviving this one pretty nicely. Let's keep it that way. All right, so second wave cleared. We got four minutes to do the rest of it. Come on, Pokemon, where are you? Already got that Geodude almost gone. Kick the rest of them. Where, where Starmie's like so small compared to our two big Pokemon, it's so easy just to sort of get him mixed up in the fray. It's like, oh gosh, where'd a little Starmie go? I mean, it's a little Pokemon that could though. Like, let him destroy. I mean, against a gigantic golem. Okay, rolling kick. That didn't really land at all. So yeah, I don't know if there's any other really cool fighting time moves. I, I, I don't think it really matters too much because we really want the triple slotted work up or bulk up. I don't know what the difference between the two is, but it looks like bulk up is the one you really want. So that's the one we'll try for. But it just takes time, I'm sure. But then I feel like we'll have a pretty nice team. Some people were even going as far to suggest, get yeah, these two again, uh, two Starmies with the same setup with the Hydro Pump that we have right now. And then beyond that, have the Machamp with the, the triple slotted bulk up. Which is like, that sounds like it probably is very effective. But it also sounds not as interesting. I don't know, I just love Venusaur in the mix. It makes it just a little bit more, you know, it can stand out a little bit more. And there goes our Venusaur. He was paralyzed, unfortunately. I guess maybe Hitmon can, Hitmonchan can do that. That sort of seems like it makes sense. Kick him, you did it, good job. So we're just gonna keep relying on Hydro Pump, I think, until Venusaur comes back out. Come on, land that, good job. You got it landed, so, oh, and there goes Machamp, which is not as big of a loss, if you ask me. Oh, we almost got the double shot there with the Vine Whip, that would've been great. Okay, which one's gonna pop up first? It looks like the Hydro Pump. It was sort of both of them at the same time. Hydro Pump, come on, come on, we need you to land that, because if not, you're gonna lose a bunch of health. Okay, they're both super low, so we should be fine, looks like we just got rid of one of them. Not quite, he just got distracted, because he's silly. Vine Whip, nice stuff, so there's one of them down. Just gotta focus on this guy, we're all beating him up. And, oh, not bad! Good little combo there to finish him off. We roll and kicked him into uh, Venusaur, who just normal attacked him to get him down. And as you can see, 114 materials, a health stone. I don't think it's gonna be anything crazy, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, level 94, there it is. So six more levels to go with him. Not too bad, I'll take it. Okay, so. Ooh, here we go, we got another cooking pot available then. So I guess we still have one more round for the last cooking pot, whatever that might be. So we'll find out what this is, hopefully something cool. Oh, you know what we can use a Squirtle for? I mean, there's a couple water type Pokemon I still need to train up, like our Goldeen. Oh, hello, you're another Lickitung, the second Lickitung we've gotten today. <laughs> okay, well, there he is, hello dude. Level 86 isn't too bad. I mean, I just don't know what we're gonna use you for. I mean, I could just use you once again to uh, level up legendary Pokemon when the time is necessary. But for now, I want more Machops until we can get this right because a lot of people are recommending it. And you know, I, I heeded your guys' recommendations for Starmie and that's worked out perfectly. So if I could keep going on with this, that'd be great. One more round to go that we'll definitely do for the legendary Pokemon, which will open up next episode. But for now, we gotta hop back in, do 12-7 one more time. I would like to keep training with 12-8, but I just think it's too difficult from a champ and for Starmie and Venusaur to do it alone. But yeah, then after that, I'll be good. It really is you know, exciting to think, if there was a Gen 2, how much more would these strategies open up? Would there become a new strategy that's even more powerful than these ones you guys are suggesting? Maybe there are currently strategies that are just as good that you know, just people haven't found yet. I'm sure that's the case. Over time, you know, as a game develops more of a fan base, you know, you probably find more and more stuff. This is definitely not going to be the Himanchen and Himan Lee, but I don't think it's a legendary Pokemon. I mean, we've already gotten 60 materials, it's insane. But uh, I just really don't think it's going to be. But hopefully I'm wrong. I gotta put a uh, bulk up back on him. Let's try that out. Got it, not bad. So, uh, fine with that guy and they're all gone. Ooh, wave two, not bad at all. Yeah, we haven't gotten any of the shells, so I'm pretty sure this isn't a legendary. I mean, it could still be. You don't always get rainbow shells during a legendary. I just swear that it's been a higher chance since we beat the uh, main story. It's just been easier in general. I say that, but we haven't gone, I mean, we've gone a little while without getting any at this point. We have this darn polywag, everybody run! 
Thank you. Nobody got hit by that. Thank goodness. Oh, he's gonna just—he just does it again and again, though. Oh, luckily this time he missed. We're getting lucky with dodging it and stuff, and just not having to deal with it in general. There goes my champ, because he could just do it over and over again. No, you don't. No, you don't. Hit him. Hit him. Don't let him hit you. I just said don't do that. Nobody's hitting him for some reason. Oh my gosh, we're getting a lot of big roots though. That's super helpful. Ooh, it's Blastoise. This guy's not fun to deal with, but we'll we'll do it. I think we'll be fine. Let's see, do that. We got uh, Venusaur already back at the full health. It's starter versus starter. I think Venusaur's gonna win this one. No, leave that Starmie alone. He's getting beat up. Okay, he got a little bit farther to the back. Luckily, Starmie, you know, being a ranged character, can sort of, you know, use the grouping to his advantage, except for the fact that he's attacking the wrong way. That's not helpful. Okay, so we got rid of one of the Squirtles. That's something. Come on, come on. Get rid of this one. Run, Starmie, run, or do something. I don't know what that is. But we have like three minutes to take him out. So once again, as long as not all three of our Pokemon get taken out at once, which at this point I don't think is gonna happen unless the Starmie just has an unfortunate fate. I'm gonna use the second Hydro Pump. That's pretty good. This is where the damage starts stacking, right? There we go. Got the Rolling Kick now. That's pretty good. And then, Boom, there it is, perfect stuff. So, two and a half minutes down. Or two, I had two and a half minutes left to go. We almost got 200 materials in this one, 180. That might be like our new record for more materials than around than ever. It's insane. We got level 75 for you now, very nice. And that's 921 damage, that's also a really good stone, especially for 12.7. Like, we don't always get those kind of stones on 12.8, you know? So, that's actually looking really nice. I might spend some tickets, I know I spent a lot of tickets in today's episode. Um, I'm just gonna spend a little bit more on this, see if we can't get one more Machop, and if so, awesome. Uh, that way we can get whatever, hopefully we need for Machamp. That'd be perfect, we'll have to find out together. Come on, please, Ah, oh, Still not what I'm looking for. So, I mean, I can keep grinding it out, Eventually I can find something I can get. These two definitely have a fighting type waiting for me. Maybe it's a Machop. Getting a little tired out on it, so maybe we'll get some variety in for next episode. We'll just auto set this and see if we can't get a cool mulligan out of it. I'll poke around. Is there any kind of cool things we want to evolve with what we currently have? I'm not really sure. Because I don't know if we have too many evolutions left that we need to find. Like Ghastly, for sure. But we don't have any similar typed Pokemon. Uh, the only thing we have is like Goldeen. And yeah, so we're gonna try to do that right now, is get Goldeen to be leveled up. I think we have a couple spare water types. I think we have like a, an extra horsey that we don't need too much of right here, level 90. No, that's a Seedra. Oh yeah, doing this wrong. Is there a horsey around? No, we just had that one Seedra. Okay, I think I still have a couple of options. We have a lot of Machops, we have that one Squirtle. Lots of new guys I just haven't really had the time to poke around with. I definitely wanna mess with some of these guys for sure. I'm thinking we could do, you know, like Moltres can probably use the Ponyta. You know, stuff like that for the similar typing can always help. Um, so we might wanna start working on that kind of stuff now. You know, the sooner the better. It also saves me room on the Pokemon because we are starting to reach our maximum. Uh, 112 out of 120, so Moltres, you're right here. Also, one other question. Can legendary Pokemon also be shiny? That sounds like it'd be a pain in the butt to make happen, but I'm sure it's possible. So yeah, we had this Ponyta, and it would just get you to level 44. How crazy is that? So, yep, give it a shot, see what ends up happening. So glad we got Moltres though, what a cool Pokemon. And like I said, one of the uh, three bird Pokemon. So that's not too bad. Uh, got a couple more there. And then, oh yeah, we have this Magikarp. Ooh, the Magikarp though. Because we already have our shiny Gyarados. Um, so I don't really need the Magikarp, even though yeah, it does have the cool splash move. I'm pretty sure if I made a specific effort to get more, I could. So I would like to use him to level up what? The Goldeen, that's what it was. So let's try to find our Goldeen, which is a very early on Pokemon we got right here. Level 26, if we could evolve you a little bit, I think that'd be perfect. So we're gonna work on that now. Um, here we go, Magikarp. And I don't think I have any other spare water type, except for like the shelter. I could try that, that'd get you low. I don't need that as much though. I mean, the shelter has a higher level and I already have the cloister. So we could try 47. And yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. We'll try this out. Level 47 should definitely get you whatever evolution you need, I think, unless you have more than one evolution. Well, what is that water type move? That one looks interesting. I don't know if I've seen that. So go ahead and get that. 
And that should be your evolution, and that's one of the few evolutions we're still waiting on, if not the last evolution, unless you evolve again after that. I can't remember. <laughs> but there we go, you turn into a Sea King. Now I'm pretty sure that's your like maximum power, a Sea King, it's so cute. Look at the little eyeball, or big eyeball, one of the two. So there's one more for the Pokedex, how exciting is that? And we can do a similar thing with the uh, Zapdos. The problem with Zapdos is I don't really have too many spare electric type Pokemon right now. But that's okay, because I could still, you know, dump some of those stuff in that might not be the best match level-wise, or I mean typing-wise. Or I could just hold on, you know? That's also another thing I wanted to do with stuff like uh, the ev evolutions. We definitely want to do an episode of all three evolutions. But it's sort of interesting. I now both have the fire EV, fire legendary bird, fire or electric legendary bird and electric EV. So we have Moltres, Zapdos, Flareon, and whatever the other one's called. Hold on. Hold on, we got it right. Is it Volteon? Something like that? It's That doesn't quite sound right. Where is he? Yeah, here he is, Jolteon. That's very cool. I don't know why he's so far back for the new slot, because that's not the case. I mean, I think when they evolved, they head back to the front, right? Or maybe that's not the case either. Yeah, that's not the case. So when our Pokemon evolve, they don't you know move closer to the beginning. Okay, that's fine. Very interesting stuff. Oh yeah, and Ghastly as well as the other evolution one we need. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get there in time. It'll just take some effort, but I think with all that being said, that'll wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Quest. If you want to support a video, make sure you comment Moltres Zebra so that you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Tassie viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.